First Baptist Academy golf team, the coaches are husband Johnny Cox, wife Karen Cox, and their son Jeremy Cox. However, adversity recently hit the team, which required all three coaches to step away. But with their coaches out, the boys' golf team is stepping up to make those coaches proud. The golf team at First Baptist Academy has had a nearly perfect regular season. This close-knit team of nine only lost by a few strokes in a regional tournament against CAK. But their second-place finish still earned the Eagles a spot to compete for the state title for just the second time in school history. It's a good accomplishment. You know, we've been here before, so we just we know what we got to do, and we just want to go get it done. But getting to this point hasn't always been easy. Instead, it's been emotional. With about two weeks left in the regular season, the team's coach and mentor, Jeremy Cox, suffered an aneurysm near his heart. We were all really sad about it, but we all told each other that God has a plan and his plan's perfect. Jeremy co-coaches with his parents, Karen and Johnny Cox, who have run the FBA golf program for seven years. Due to Jeremy's health scare, his parents put their lives on hold to take care of him. The Eagles were without all three of their coaches for the regional tournament. It was heartbreaking. I mean, on not on just our side, but on the kids' side as well, because they love Jeremy. Despite not having that in-person coaching connection, FaceTime has been a great resource leading up to the state championship. The team has been practicing on its own every day during fall break, but the players say it's still been an adjustment. We're just trying to do our best to think of what they would tell us and keep our attitude in control. On September 28th, Jeremy underwent surgery and doctors say he is set to make a full recovery. Now the team can walk onto the tee at the first hole for states with clear minds knowing that their leader will be all right. Like I went downstairs and started yelling and jumping in happiness. As for the state championship, well, the team has new motivation. What better gift than to win the state tournament as a team for your coach who's going through a hard time? WBIR sports reporter Emily Ray Cochran with that story. State tournament starts tomorrow for that boys team, and we're wishing them the best of luck and hope they can get it done for their coaches. Back to you, Robin.